I can remember people shouting. I could hear the helicopter quite close to me as well. I couldn't see anything, it was just all black. I woke up in the hospital, machines beeping, there's doctors around you. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is not a dream, this is, this is for real, and I just broke myself quite badly. Me and my family are originally from Brazil. About nine years ago, we moved to England and we started racing the Nationals. And then now we are on the World Cup circuit. It was the first World Cup of the 2021 season. On the Friday when we were practicing, I felt super smooth with the whole track, just felt super good, super confident. Into the qualifying run, I started my run strong and then made a mistake. I knew I had to like bring some time back, just wanted to make sure I would qualify. When I was coming down on the motorway, a rut formed right on the leap of the jump. When you come into a rut, your front end will go through fine. When your back end goes, it kind of gets stuck and throw you over the bars. I had no pain at that moment. It was just all blank, really. Dougie had a high-speed crash with his head taking the full impact. Damage to your spinal cord can cause loss of movement and body functions below the site of injury. So injuries higher up the spine have the potential to affect a lot more of your body. Dougie fractured his T3, T4 and T6, and that's pretty bad. He also fractured his C2, breaking it into three pieces. Damage to the C1 and C2 vertebra are considered to be the most severe and it can lead to full paralysis, but is more often fatal. I was at work when he crashed. I asked my boss if I could go check my phone and make sure he's down. Instead of having a text from him, I had like a text from his mum. She texted me in Portuguese. She said helicopter, and then I kind of clicked like what had happened. The surgery was meant to be three hours. It ended up being eight hours. They put two plates on my neck from the C4 to the C1, and they also put eight screws in. I didn't even mind too much about breaking my body, I was just more worried about the season and just haven't been able to show my full potential. And that year I was fit, I was strong, I was ready. First race, boom, crash. When he got home, he was like, he wasn't in like a great headspace. We watched like the World Cup on the TV and that kind of like hit, hit home to him that he was like, oh, will I be able to actually do that again? He's more passionate about riding downhill than people think. He's quite a close person, so you don't ever know what he's fully thinking. But you could tell that it was like it did hit him hard that he like might not be able to do it, and that he had to stay cooped up and not doing something that he loves. The doctors told me it took about a year to start riding a bike again. After my crash, I had to sell my downhill bike to help me fund my rehab, uh, so I could get back racing as soon as possible. So today we're going to reps to ride downhill for the first time in a while. In a while must be a Brazilian phrase for one big crash, seven months of treatment, rehab and mental resilience to get back on a bike and get back racing. I guess I need a new downhill bike. It's very different being able to ride faster in the local trails and being able to put a run together in the World Cup. That's why I'm going testing today, to see if things need improving. Hopefully everything will be fine and we can get back to races soon.
my first run, I got down here and I was like, I felt so bad on the bike and just super stiff. Some more work on my neck needs to be done to strengthen it a little bit more just for the, the big impacts and stuff. So far, we did some neck strength testing last week and he's looking very strong. Movements are all looking very good. Just need to work a little bit more on endurance and building a bit more within those muscles around the neck to help him over those long days and back-to-back -back races. He's extremely lucky to have full movement and the fact that he's pushing to get back on the bike and back racing shows how determined and mentally strong he is. Ready for a wee pop? I'm like so, so proud that he's gone from like a crash that he nearly died from, back riding and doing stuff that he's like doing now. Him and I and like his whole family are just so happy that he's even able to do something that he loves still. I think I can ride just as fast as anyone else on sections at the moment, but I think for the full run it will be difficult. I feel like through the season I'll be getting better and better. My motivation is pretty much the same as I always had. Do you want to win? Get your ass up. I haven't achieved where I want to be yet, and it's a long way to go still. I know if I give up, I would just regret it because I didn't try my best. I could never give up racing. <laughs>